we're getting very excited because we're going out. We're being allowed out to the coast. We haven't been anywhere for 11 weeks. Is it 11 weeks? Uh, 12. 12 weeks. We haven't been outside for, well, anything more than shopping at the supermarket. So this is an exciting moment. We're all packed. Take a look. We have important things here. See, we've got oh, crisps and is that chocolate? Look, chocolate. We've got all the food groups here. What else is there? Oh, um, Pringles. Oh, you see, we're going to have a picnic. So there you go. And there's the door. And soon we'll be going through it. Oh, the other side of this door. Look through there. As you can see, there is adventure beyond that door. Yes, I've got my Osmo and we're off. And I'm relegated to the back seat here, so I can't open the gate. I can. But Helen claims she can, but let us see whether she actually can. She did. Oh, Yes, I've got my phone, I've got my glasses. Right, we had to double check to see whether we had everything because we can't remember what we normally take with us when we go out. It's so exciting and so different from our normal experience of life, which is mostly sat on the sofa, staring blankly ahead at our TV screen. We're going to be listening to the BBC on this road trip. It will be an education. We're seeing sunlight. We're going to get our vitamin D. This, this is where the rich people live in uh, Johor Bahru. All our friends are really rich. So we've been misses visiting them because we like to think that we too are rich. It gives us that illusion. We are picking up Anis and Ferris. People like to rhyme their names here. We thought about changing our names to Licorice and Hellish. It would make us all the more memorable. They're not up there, are they? These buildings are absolutely enormous. They're, um, the rooms are uh, sort of the size of a car showroom. And this is the fortress. <laughs> Kota Nonchik. You can see they've got gates that come open when you toot your horn. Isn't that cool? have lunch. This will be the, the very first restaurant we've been in for three months. Ooh, excitement. And as you can see, the backside of Mersin is well, pretty much as you would imagine the backside of Mersin to be. So we're all preparing ourselves now to rob the bank. Once upon a time, people were worried about iPhones that could tell the powers that be where you were. As if there wasn't a far more effective way that has been much used ever since writing was invented. 
And as for that zombie apocalypse, that's really what all this temperature taking is all about. 34, you zombie. <laughs> <laughs> See, being English, oh. <laughs> we order the fish and chips. Uh, Cantonese style noodles. Cantonese style noodles. You know, all the years we lived next to Canton and in Cantonese land, did we ever have that dish? No, no, that certainly doesn't look like Cantonese noodles at all. I had a different vision in mind. Like, <laughs> okay, um, have you filmed I've, I've got to have the congee nice here. Congee. Oh, that, uh, that's right. Yeah, we're immersing. <laughs> I know that, but why? Why? What are we doing here? We're checking that the ferries are running. Ah, Helen's decided to check if the ferries are running, so that she can say that she's damned if she's going to get on one. Mm. This is the ferry terminal. You see the picture of the seats with the social distancing. Oh right, right, yes. So all prepared for social distancing and nobody's going to take the blind this bit of notice uh, yeah we have social distancing when we go for the to the park uh, or at least we did on the first day then after that it just fell apart uh, they even stopped taking our temperatures which is probably what will happen everywhere else here first couple of days Everybody's temperature is going to be taken. People will write down their names, sort of. And, uh, and then they'll get bored with that and, and give up. This is Mersin Beach, I do believe. What, what's the name of this beach? This is uh, Teluk Arok. Saluk? Teluk. T-E-L-O-K. Oh, Belo. Teluk. Teluk. T-E-L-O-K. Teluk. Oh, Teluk. Arok. Teluk Arok. There we go. That's where we are, Teluk Arok. Beach full of tropical splendour. Here we are, Sukalaya Resort, and as you can see, it's a good job we weren't allowed to come out here uh, because of all the millions of people that we might infect or might infect us, because, you know, when you come out here, uh, well, you're not likely to bump into anybody, quite frankly, it's, uh, so it was all a bit of a nonsense, uh, Frank when you think about it. But there you are, here we are now. We can, we can make our mark, we can drop plastic wherever we like and, uh, and nobody will uh, complain because the place is full of it. And uh, what else can we do? We can eat Pringles crisps and just throw the packets away uh, so that they can wash up somewhere. Frolic Lawrence. and frolic, yes, we can frolic. We nice the frolic and walk and uh, disturb the crabs.
This is Penyabong. And it's all brand new. This is new from when we last came here, which was probably last year actually. Oh look, a fat-tailed cat. Why do they have fat-tailed cats in Malaysia? Well, I have no idea. I asked Siri and he was no use. He just talked about fat-tailed geckos. Not quite the same thing. My theory is that the Sultans kept weird cats as pets, so a walkie-tailed cat uh, was deliberately bred as some sort of fashion statement. The Sultan has one, so why shouldn't I have one as well? Pirates there. There's probably still a few pirates floating around. There's a a pirate here that I I know myself. Picked up earlier. Right? Yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's right. I can tell she's secretly a pirate, and that's that's the nature of pirates. They do it in secret. At least the best ones are are doing it in secret because then they don't get caught. How did Penyabong get its name? Derived from the word Sabong, and Sabong is uh, the game of cockfighting. And cockfighting is the preferred game of pirates during their free time when they're not busy pirating. Oh, so right. Penyabo means cockfighter. Right, right. Socially distancing manner, aren't we? Hello, pussy. Hello. Hi, we're with uh, this one here. Oh, okay, we're too close together. Yeah. We're too close together. There is nothing like a good Malaysian fry up. You would imagine that such a fertile land would produce massive amounts of exotic salads and vegetable dishes, but Malay food definitely airs on the brownish side of things. Add a peanut sauce and lots of chilli, and it is finger-licking good. Which is no doubt why Colonel Sanders does so well in these here parts. <laughs> Good morning, campers. We're up extremely early in the morning, though perhaps not as early as we normally get up, which is why it's, um, it's quite surprising to feel so absolutely zonked. I think it's probably because we haven't been out in the daylight for so long, and uh, the sun and, I don't know about oxygen, but uh, certainly fresh air. Is that is that the word? Well, it's, it it's never really fresh air here. It's hot and steamy air. We're, we're somewhere. We're going for our walk amongst the mangroves. And somewhere out here... Out there. I lost a drone. And in fact, it's probably buried in the mud. It can't. Have, it must. It must be just there, doesn't it? Yeah. Somewhere, unless somebody's actually picked it up, it will be there. I might find it. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's what we're listening for, crabs. This area is in about about two or three feet of water until about here. So those mangroves are normally submerged, well they are submerged in water half the time and on dry land half the time, which is characteristic of mangrove. It's not moving. I wanted to wave its claw. Come on, wave your claw. Of course, when you've nothing better to do, you spend your time taking photos of each other taking photos. In the shallow parts of the lake by yeah. itself. And it's so famous. We could beat the one up. Oh, right, right. Um, so there's another Wanaka tree that's famous, but your Wanaka tree is much better. That's what you're telling me. It's a one upper tree. We're the only white people to have seen these trees. Yeah. I somehow doubt it. <laughs> Oh, the only white people these trees have seen, yes, yes. Now, I have it on very bad authority that these trees were planted by Hannis and her cohorts. <laughs> and, and even worse authority uh, says that I might have planted some of them. Though I have my doubts. Which are these big trees with Harris, and there were these three big trees, and there were not these. Yes. So these they, have. They were there, but they were much littler, and you wouldn't. Have these have grown up since uh, they, they would have four years. Like this, this okay. Size. Yes, but that doesn't mean that I planted any of them. No, but that's why I said might have. <laughs> Well, the sun is up and the heat is down. Or is it the heat is up and the, the sun is out? That's it, the sun is out and the heat is up. And the humidity is just flooding in. Uh, yes, that's plant an invasive species. That's uh... all right. I'm, I'm going to do that. No, just okay. Let's see. Right. 
I'm, I'm planting an invasive species, apparently, of uh, mangrove. Uh, four years from now, everything here will be dead and swamped by this uh, huge tree which will uh, suck the life out of the entire place. So, there you go. We've come for breakfast, yes. but we've we're... come to have the grumpy lady's food. Oh, right, but she's not there. Yes, she is. Oh, she is. Oh, right. We've come for grumpy lady's food. I'm having roti chanai for my breakfast, and other people are having unpronounceable stuff. I want what? A chicken. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Okay. I'll, uh, and I'll have some chicken with it as well. Well, apparently, because you've got to have chicken. Right, the green, the green one is a kui bakar, which basically means, I don't know, <laughs> green stuff baked. Baked cake. Right. It's uh, sticky rice uh, cooked over. But it's cooked over burning charcoal coconut husks. Burning coconut husks, there you go. Sticky rice cooked over burning charcoal husks. I think the, uh, the love of chili is to wake people up. It's the, the Red Bull of uh, Malaysia. It looks like while the humans have been devolving and the internet taken over, the planet's other inhabitants have been rallying their forces and preparing to steal cars and have their own adventures. Mind you, I tell them that first they need to master fire. But there is just no telling some people. And so ends our breakout adventure. <laughs> <laughs>